there guys, Robert here, and welcome to episode 626 of Love Mystery. For this episode, we're going to have a look at Champion, the Toronto Maple Leafs, and the Jetsons. Let's start with Champion. Here's the show by those of you who don't know what Champion is. It is an American sportswear industry found in 1919. Their headquarters are in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Their areas are only served in North America, Europe, and Asia. And their website is champion.com. So let's take a look, folks. Up to 40% off almost everything. Everything is 40% off? You know what I mean? Yes. This is the lately I have here. Is 40% off. My phone is 40% off. These drums are 40% off. I'm for 40% off. Everything is 40% off. Nah, I'm just kidding. Now, I don't mean like literally everything. I mean like everything in Champion is 40% off for women and men. You can go check out details. I would, but we have to get on with this episode. Oh my god, they be looking stylish. And now without further ado, let's get started! 1960 to the present, this is the only logo for Champion that I could find, even though it was founded in 1919. Uh, we have a Red Sea. Oh my god, not a red sea. A blue sea with, like, a red semicircle and a blue line through it, you know. And and then we have the rest of the letters, H-A-M-P-I-O-N, in yellow, not yellow, but blue script. Yeah, the rest of the letters are in blue script. Blue script, yeah. Oh my god, I feel like I don't speak English anymore. Next is the Toronto Maple Leafs. Here's the short by here's the short by those of you who don't know who the Toronto Maple Leafs are. They are a Canadian hockey team that plays for the NHL, Canadian professional hockey team. That's what I mean. They also play for the Atlantic Division in the Eastern Conference. It was founded in 1917 as the Toronto Arenas. In 1919, they changed their name to the Toronto St. Patrick's. In 1927, they changed their name to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Their home arena is the Scotiabank Arena. It is owned by Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment Ltd. Don't. Let me know in the comments that LTD stands for limited, because I know that. Their general manager is Kyle Dubas. Their head coach is Sheldon Keith. Their captain is John Travares, or Tavares. And so far, they have won 13 Stanley Cups, no conference championships, no president's trophies, and five division championships. And their official website is www.nhl.com slash Maple Leafs. So let's take a look. Kasperi Kabanen, bobblehead giveaway. Oh my god, wow. That bobblehead looks so cool. Final, Leafs 4, Canucks 1. That's cool. And then they got the all-star fan vote, sponsored by Adidas. And then the takeover is coming. Oh no! The Toronto Maple Leafs are taking over the world! That's right, we're taking over the world! <laughs> oh my god. Hockey fights cancer. Wow, great support. Sheldon Keith named head coach. Okay, that's cool. Um, I'm gonna scroll through this website because everyone wants to see. Everyone wants to see. Oh my God, everyone wants to see the history of this logo, folks. And now, without further ado, let's get started. 1927 or 1928, we have a green maple leaf with the words Toronto Maple Leafs in white text. 1928 to 1931, same as last time, but the leaf is blue instead of green. 1931 to 1963, the blue leaf changed. I'm not going to go into full detail about the leaf, because that would waste your valuable time watching this. And uh, inside there, we just have the words Toronto Maple Leafs, just in a different font. And also, the stem on the bottom became a little bit, well, not a little bit, but more wider and longer. I guess. So, yeah. Actually, shorter and thinner. My apologies. 1963 to 1966 and 1999 to 2011. Same as last time, but they actually added, like, an outside blue outline. And they just and then they just added white outline, you know, to the leaf. And, yeah, like, they put this whole leaf from the last logo and put it right into this, uh, 
blue shape. So that's pretty much the same as last time. And also, the leaf became much more lighter. 1966 to 1970 and 2012 to 2017, the, the blue maple leaf at this point looks like the Canadian, like, it looks like, you know, the maple leaf in the Canadian flag, but it's blue instead. Um, but again, same as last time, but it just looks like the Canadian leaf in the Canadian flag. And it, inside there, there is there are the words Toronto Maple Leafs in white text. They just basically changed their font again. 1970 to 1982, they they just t changed their font of the words Toronto Maple Leafs. Right, oh my God. Um, so they basically just changed their font of the words the Toronto Maple Leafs, and they changed the whole leaf altogether. 1982 to 2016, same as last time, but the leaf changed, and so did the font a little bit. And this is an alternative version. 2016 to the present. This might be the same as uh, probably the 1931 one. But it, it but the leaf became different and the stem became wider. And we have the words Toronto Maple Leafs in, blue, in, in white text. And uh, 2016 to 2017, this was their 100th anniversary logo for this one. And this is their Winter Classic logo. And finally, we will move on to the Jetsons. Here's a short bio so you don't know who the Jetsons was. It was an American animated sitcom that first aired on September 23rd, 1962 and ended on March 17th, 1963. It was revived on... My God. It was revived on September 16th, 1985, but then ended again on November 12th, 1987. It was directed by William Hanna from 1962 to 1963, Joseph Barbera from 1962 to 1963, Ray Patterson as the supervising director from 1985 to 1987, Arthur David from 1985 to 1987, Oscar Duval from 1985 to 1987, Carl Urbano in 1985, Alan Zaslov in 1985, Paul Summer in 1987, and Charlie Downs in 1987. It was voiced by George O'Hanlon, Penny Singleton, Janet Waldo, Dawes Butler, Mel Blank, John Messick, John Vanderpil, Howard Morris, and Frank Welker, only for the 80s revival. Their, music com their, theme, their, sorry, their music composer and theme music composer was Hoyt Curtin. Throughout its five months on the air for the original series and two years on the air for the revival series, they have aired three seasons and 75 episodes. Wow. I love the Jetsons, personally, even though I wasn't born in the time when the Jetsons came out. I love that show. I like how nostalgic it is. Even though, even though like I said, I wasn't born in the 60s. Hell, I wasn't even born in the 80s, man. I was born in 2004, mate. And now without further ado... Let's get started. 1962 to 1963 and 1985 to 1987, uh, we have a light blue shape. And inside that light blue shape, we have the words the in white text with blue outline and blue drop shadow. And we also have the word Jetsons in white text with blue outline and also with blue drop shadow. Um, and obviously, the word Jetsons became bigger than the... Like, the word Jetsons is bigger than the word the, obviously. And the biggest letter in the whole logo is the letter J. 1985 to 1987, we just have the words the and Jetsons in yellow text with black drop shadow and with black outline. And it's inside this blue background. Alright, guys, today is... Well, today's not Wednesday. Because I missed requested logo Wednesdays once again, man. Oh my goodness. So... Even though it is Thursday, I'm going to do Requested Logo Wednesdays as a makeup. Because I missed it again! I promise I'm going to try to be on point with Requested Logo Wednesdays. Because at this point, Requested Logo Wednesdays is pretty much dead. Because I'm not keeping myself updated on that. Anyways, the logo that will be in this episode is... Swiss Miss Hot Cocoa Mix! Or just Swissmas. This logo was requested by Roblox Gamer. So if you want to subscribe to his channel, the link to his beautiful channel will be in the description down below. Here's the short bio so you don't know what Swissmas is. 
It is an American brand of cocoa powder and pudding products invented by Charles Senna and sold by American food company Gong Kong. Oh my god. Let me read that bold again because I feel like I don't, you know, speak English anymore. It is an American brand of cocoa powder and pudding products invented by Charles Senna and sold by American food company Conagra Brands in 1950. And now without further ado, let's get started, folks! 1950 to 1986, we just had the word Swissmas in, you know, black text. And it has this uh, old, you know, it has this old font, in which I like. And the dots on the eyes are like diamonds in the sky. 1986 to 2006, we have the word Swissmas in purple text. It's all there is. 2006 to 2010, same as last time. Well, actually, not the same as last time. We have the word Swissmas in white text with yellow outline, and it's inside this blue and light blue shape with like it, it's inside this blue and light blue shape with a mountain on it, and it has like white outline and also has blue outline as well. And 2010 to the present, this is the logo that you may have seen in this part. You know, this uh, the title card for the requested logo Wednesdays thing. <laughs> um. Anyways, again, we just had the word Swissmas in white text, and now below it, they added the words Hot Cocoa Mix. Um, uh, and, um, it, again, it's inside this, uh, blue shape. Well, the blue shape actually became different from the last logo. Um, it's more like a little bit round. Uh, it's inside this blue and light blue shape again, and, it's in, and it has, like, yellow outline and black outline and white outline and white outline as well, and it also has, like, you know, that light blue glow on the end. Alright, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History, and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. Stay tuned for episode 627, Versace, the Washington Capitals, and Johnny Test. Bye for now!